All right, so a quick walk around the bike. This is a 2016 GSF 1250 Suzuki Bandit. It was uh, manufactured in 2016, first registered in 2017, and I've owned it for a couple of years. It's an absolutely fantastic bike. Um, Yoshi exhaust, the uh, Yoshi symbol has been removed, so is it to look a little bit more stock, but obviously it doesn't sound stock. Um, tail tidy has been installed to give you that very clean, tight underside and rear end look. Get rid of the, uh, the duck, duck bill on the back here with a nice tight exhaust plate on the back. Um, Corbin gunfighter seat installed, which also has the uh, the rear pillion passenger backrest, which is completely adjustable. This is a fantastic sports touring seat, really, really comfortable. Um, I do have the original seat for the bike, which will come with the bike. Snakeskin. Knee grippers on both sides of the tank. Give yourself nice control when you're in the corners. Carbon fiber front protector mounted on the tank for when you're leaning forward and on the tank and your leathers and your gear don't scratch up that beautiful black flake paint. Um, we've got engine guard protectors on both sides here to protect the casing. If the bike goes down here, properly installed. Um, fairing is in excellent condition. Brakes are in excellent condition. Just over 3,000 miles on the engine. Um, chain's been fully cleaned and lubed. See the front air dam installed there. Gives it a nice finished look on the front of the bike. Um, we've got a radiator guard protector installed over the radiator to protect it from rocks. Um, a whole shot fork brace, stiffen up the front end. Really handles beautifully. Gives it a significant increase in handling with that installed on the front forks. And the tires have about a thousand miles on them. They're about uh, I would say about nine months old. Uh, they're the Continental Sport Attack 2 tires. Some of the best tires I've actually ever had the pleasure of riding on. When these things warm up, they are like glue. They stick to the road absolutely beautifully. Really thrilled with these tires. Same on the front. So. These are pretty much brand new tires. Lots of tread left on them. All right, so uh, do a quick cold start for you. So you can uh, cold start, hand on the exhaust. Exhaust is warm, but not cold. Um, it's a hot day. <laughs> I'm sitting in the sun. So, clutch in on.
love the sound of that big four-cylinder engine. So these are the uh, SW Motec touring bags, which are incredibly easy to add to the bike. Um, they come specifically designed for the Bandit. Um, they have some uh, mounting brackets here, um, steel arms that go through the back sides of the bags to support them off the sides of the bike. Um, some quick connectors which are uh, attached, attached to the back here um, and then a velcro strap that sits over the back of the rear seat which uh, velcros it all together to hold it um, they have locking rings at the back good amount of storage inside and they also open up um, if you unzip here all the way, they will expand out another three inches to the side just to give you that extra storage space. They also come with uh, waterproof bags that cover the exterior. They're great. Obviously, they're not the most secure things in the world. If someone has a very sharp knife, they're going to be able to uh, cut through these things pretty quickly and steal whatever you keep in there. But for touring, where you can keep an eye on your bike, take these off in the evening and throw over your shoulder and take them into the hotel with you. They're a really nice, compact, uh, they don't enlarge the width of the bike too much for lane splitting. Um, I think they look great and they uh, come off really, really easily, which I will demonstrate now. So like I said, these are the brackets on the side that uh, are mounted to the rear peg, uh, rear foot peg uh, support holders. Um, there's a, a Velcro, not Velcro, but it's a, a quick change snap, quick connector that goes in there. Um, and these arms are adjustable in the backs of the legs to uh, hold the bags off the side of the bike. So in order to take these off, I will demonstrate quickly in real time how fast it is to do that and what the bike looks like uh, without the bags on so if i mount my camera back on my tripod so here we go so the first thing you want to do is disconnect the snaps on the side by sticking your fingers in here or from the back and disconnect that uh, quick snap there on each side So that's then undone. Then what you want to do is, uh, if you want to take them off individually, which is probably the easiest way, do you want to do the Velcro in the middle here, which will release the uh, bags from the sides here. And then they have a quick remover here, which if you pull out, the whole thing comes off like that. And that's one of the bags. Let's see here how the arm slides into the back here. That's just a removable arm. So that's one off. Same on the other side. Press the button and pull towards you. And out comes the opposite side, just like that. So those are the two bags off. You can leave the arms, the metal arms, snapped in if you want to here. I don't particularly like the look of the bike with the arms in place. Um, but as you can see, two bags removed in a matter of seconds. I have the camera off the tripod and as you can see all we have left on here on the bike is uh, the mounting arm for the brackets where they slot in here and the two little quick change tabs at the back. So with the bags off the bike it's a really really clean 
clean look. The bike's back to looking like a sports bike. You can go from uh, the sport touring look to the sport look very, very quickly indeed. <laughs> 